Let's put some miles on this car. most famous people in Tennessee, Jack Daniels and David Crockett. Okay, we are here and that was a bit hairy getting here. He had to get on the phone with me and talk me. Ah, road was blocked, etc. So, oh my gosh, check this place out. This is a paradise. Yet another paradise. My goodness. And there he is. Check out this guy. This is Mr. Charles D. Hancock, and he follows me on uh, Late Bloomer yep. on YouTube. And I trekked all the way down to Alabama to check out his beautiful garden and uh, flowers. Oh, That's yeah. really what's on fire right now, right? Yep. The garden's mm -hmm. not quite, uh, it's only the, the end of April, so garden's not quite taken off. Yeah, but, the flowers uh, are spectacular. Well, let's check out some flowers. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, obviously we like flowers. No, this is called I have Jackie's never pulpit. seen that ever. Okay, that's a beautiful flower. That is incredible. It is, and it has, they come in a lot of different colors. I imagine that plant's been there 20 years. They're beautiful. Yeah. What's your favorite flower, Charles? Uh, probably azaleas. Ah, and they're almost done. Yeah, they're almost finished. These, these up in there are still blooming and there's some others on up yonder in the woods still blooming. Hey, Zillia's like other flowers. Uh, those red ones in the woods? Say it again? Those red ones in the woods are uh, azaleas? Yeah, those are azaleas. Wow. And see, that's another rhododendron right in there. Oh, that's yeah. another big one right in there that hasn't even started blooming yet. And there's another one up that way. Well, you sure have the flower touch. <laughs> My wife does the flowers. Oh, all of them? I do the vegetables, she does the flowers. All right, now we're in the, what I call kitchen garden. This is your kitchen garden, right. okay. okay. If you want something last minute, you run out here and, and you grab it, you know. Oh, why don't I have strawberries that look like this? You eat that one. No, no, you eat it. Okay, okay. Happy to. An experiment, really, of a, uh, mm. I call it a bin, B-I-N, uh, garden. A bin garden. Bin, uh -huh. I like that. And, uh, some things grow well in, in this concept and some things don't, but uh, strawberries are seeming like they do pretty good. And over there are some radishes in that one. So you've got this some- This is curly leaf kale. Curly leaf kale gone to seed. Gone going to seed. To seed. Yeah, All right. Did you see my video of me eating the flowers? No, I haven't. <laughs> Eat one. Are they good? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like kale? Tastes like broccoli? Mm -hmm. Tastes like kale. Mm -hmm. I have to try it. Just like one little flower like oh, that? <laughs> well, I don't know whether that will have any taste or not. <clears throat> what, the whole top? That one right there, get that one right there. Oh, oh, without the flowers? Yeah, before it started to Oh, open. I wanted to eat the flowers. Oh, we'll do that too. <laughs> mm. I eat the it tastes kind of like, hmm, wow, that tastes so good. That tastes, it is, it is tasty. It tastes like, it's just cross between broccoli and um, nuts. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, let's look over here a minute. Mm. Oh, here are the trellises that you showed me on your video. Oh, I love these. This thing is called a cattle panel, which I right. buy at Tractor Supply. And of course, that's a steel T-post. Mm -hmm. And that's a band clamp, you buy that at Lowe's. How do you how do you get these in the ground? Okay. I don't want you to hold it, but I'm gonna let you just kind of get a hold of it. And... Uh, oh, man, that, I, okay. Okay, it's weighted in this end. Oh, I see what you mean. I need two hands to hold that. All right.
Okay, that's down. exactly that what I was recommended to do. Now you, now you, now you, shoot. I did wood. <laughs> did oh, next well, year maybe. Wood is good, but it'll rot. That thing would probably tear your wood up. And this is what? That's chain link, top rail. And this is? Uh, it's an end clamp. I'm not sure the correct name. Okay. okay. It's so this clamp. is the same as this, right? That's a piece of. Then you come right. down, and then you. This clamp is a this little band arm. clamp, and that one is uh, two and so, an inch and three quarters. So these little clamps will will on each pole will support that all uh -huh. that weight of those right. vegetables. Mm -hmm. Isn't wow. it amazing? This is uh, this is uh, worm casting. Right, but you to have the castings, you got to have the worms, right? You got yeah, worms exactly. In there? You're right. Well, let's yeah, see. Except there. Let's see if you've got some worms in there. Wait a minute. What happened here? Yeah, what see, happened? they're immediately going down. They don't like. Oh light. yeah, they don't. They, they don't will waste. immediately go down. And, and the hotter it gets, the further down they'll go. So there's going to be a significant thing that you don't see here. Don't no, no worms. Finished compost has no worms. Yeah. Okay. The reason why is because there's nothing in there for me. They've already eaten it. Yeah. Or it's already broken down to the point where they don't eat it. Wow, you've got so much space. You can probably really create a lot of great fertilizer for these plants. I mean, do you even have to use fertilizer? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you an example. Matter of fact, it's right here behind us. Let's just do that. So these two, these plants in here, I don't know what it is, about 11 of them, were all treated the same, except these two did not get an additional handful of triple 13. Interesting. I took, yeah, let's see. Let me grab, let me grab a... Triple 13 thing. sounds like rocket fuel. <laughs> so I'm going to take that much, and then I'm going to put it around the outside, back out here, of that plant. Actually, that's probably not enough. I'm going to do it again. But isn't it too late for that plant? I mean, with the season being so high? It probably is. It'll probably go to seed. Okay. But... And then I just kind of rake that around in there a little bit. And that plant will jump. It may go to seed, but it will jump. I bet. And the reason why is because it wants the nitrogen. Yeah. When you say that's a soil block, did you, is there a demarcation it. or you just, you I just, make them. how do you make them? How do you make it? Okay. We, we, I knew <laughs> we needed to spend all day here, but <laughs> all right. So. Oh, I've seen those. That's a soil block maker. Yeah. Okay, got it. So got what it. you, if, it's, if this is not too dry, what we do then is come down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pack dirt, pack this up into the air, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. See oh, wow. Mm -hmm. All right. So then when we set it down out there, well, that's cool. I've never done that. And is it okay if the seeds grow together a little bit? I mean, the, the roots, if the yeah, roots grow yeah. together? Yeah, because watch, watch up here and on this one. Nice roots. Right. And then when you take it apart like that. Wow. Then you put this in the ground uh -huh. and you don't get any transplant shock. Well, yeah. I'm getting that vibe, Charles. Huh? I'm getting that vibe that you love gardening. Uh -huh. well, right. <laughs> the movie star drives a tractor. We're going to go around that little roadway right there. <laughs> All righty. All right. That works so good. We're look at something right here. Really okay. Kabocha. Kabocha. Right, it's yep. kabocha. I always kabocha get squash. that wrong. And you know what? After I did that to you, talking did you about do pronunciation. It to me? Oh, oh. I, was that I you thought, that did that? Yeah. I thought you know what? Maybe that's the way they pronounce it in California. No, I just 
I just did. You know what I mean? I just right, assume. Now, see that kibosha now over there? I love this uh, little netting over it. Okay, is this I'm, for I'm the gonna beetles? Explain why that's there. Uh, see that kibosha right in there? I do. Yeah. All right. You are you familiar with a squash vine borer that gets in killed the squash? Yes, I hear about them all the time. Okay, it'll kill the kibosha vines too. Wow, that is so easy, and, I, and I'm assuming you put that together. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. So now. Now I do this. I I, I do hand you pollinate. Hand pollinate? All right. I do. All right. So that's a male bloom. Right. There's no. Fem there's no. See, that's a male bloom. I see a female one, but it's not open. It's not. Uh, yeah, that's not. Open. The, uh, but, um, next to it. Oh, right there. It's a little one. Uh, oh, yeah, right there. Uh, there's probably a female open. So we'll take this. Yes. If I can find the female. We'll take one. Yeah, with eight. Oh, you've got more plants down here. Yeah, and this is kind of like. Are you going to cover these or? Well, all right. This is the Take female. Take your chances. All right. This is the female. Mm -hmm. Here we'll get in here where we can really see, mm -hmm. see the female, see the squash right there. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll take this here. We'll just tear it open. Ants like it too. Mm -hmm. And then you just kill it here and carefully put the pollen right around that part of the. Mm -hmm. of the female flower there. Yep. This is hair from a beauty shop. I went by and talked with them and said, I need some hair. And they said, well, come by about five o'clock. And I, it was in a... Sort of like going to get coffee grounds, but you go to a beauty <laughs> yeah, shop to get right. hair. Yeah, and it was in a plastic bag, so I put it out and put it in this mesh bag so that when our deer comes in here, he's gonna smell that and he'll go the other way. Oh, goody, that's awesome. Charles Hancock's Japanese tractor. <laughs> oh, you got a great setup here. So you just grow the lettuce and, and it never goes out to the garden? No, not this. Okay. What is this? This is a loose leaf lettuce, like butter crunch. Nice. Yeah, it's very nice lettuce. You got a lot of planting to do, my man. I know. <laughs> we'll get it done. But it you... was really great to meet you, Charles. I am so happy that we made the acquaintance, and I'm just quickly saying that because I'm almost out of space. But I want to come back and see you again sometime. Or you have to come up out to California and see me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting the road right now to go to see Paula from Gardening with Puppies channel. So, <sighs> that'll be the next part. <laughs> Slow down.